Yo, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. And uh, I'm starting something new. It's going to be like a solo podcast slash news update. Now, I'm not trying to be your source in all gaming news. If I am, uh, I guess that's cool. <laughs> but um, I figured I'd go over a bunch of gaming news uh, from the prior week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to... This is late already, of course. My first my first video and I'm late. But... Um, <laughs> This is going. I'm gonna try to do this like every Monday and drop the video every Monday night, and it'll be it'll cover the news from the prior week. So um, let me know you guys are interested. Uh, some people told me it was a cool idea, so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, uh, definitely uh, other events and gaming nights and all that stuff that I do, I'll mention at the end. But yeah, for the most part, just gaming news and doing quick opinions and definitely tell me you guys' opinions. Um, in the description or in the comments and whatnot and we'll talk about it you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah uh, so the first news i got so far is a uh, minecraft steve drop last week um and he looked in smash bros if you didn't know um which is cool I, th I thought it was dope um he's not a character that i wanted per se i'm not mad that he's in there a couple friends i talked about it were kind of mad about it i don't know why but it is what it is man the smash of uh, roster is already stacked in my opinion so to me it can only get better i mean i don't know about you guys i'm i'm not gonna be mad at anybody put in there um i'm, I'm happy with the roster it, i'm still not over banjo okay like anybody they put is a bonus like the fact that we're still getting characters is kind of crazy and they're like they're big characters like yeah like it's minecraft steve one of the biggest games ever like he deserves that. People always saying this character doesn't fit. This snakes in the game, man. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about? Whatever. Cla Claws in the game. But anyway, I still can't get over Banjo. So anybody they add is a plus to me. Um, another game that I don't know if you guys care about, but a lot of people have talked to me about is Digimon Survive. It has been delayed to 2021. I've never played the Digimon RPG games. They look cool. And it does suck, it got delayed, but that's kind of probably gonna be a lot of games got delayed this year, and that's just another one because of the pandemic or whatever other reason. Um, hopefully, you know, it just means it's gonna be that much more polished when it comes out. Um, I don't know if this I'll play this one, I definitely want to try the other ones first. Um, but this one does seem pretty dope. I think does this one have co op, or did, am I making that up? Well, regardless, I don't know. These games look pretty cool, though. I definitely want to try them out. Uh, the anime has been popping. I keep seeing it on my Twitter, and it looks dope. Um, but yeah, one day I'll try it. <laughs> I can't promise and tell you when, though. I can't give you a date on that. But yeah, so uh, if you're a fan, if you didn't know, sorry. Yeah, delayed till 2021. Uh, hopefully, it comes out earlier in the year. And yeah. <laughs> so uh, something that might interest you guys probably not mostly me but uh so mobile gundam suit mobile gundam suit mobile suit gundam extreme vs maxi boost on new update 1.06 update now adds player matches um so you can set more specific rules you can spectate um i think you can pick players to be on what teams um gonna be dope for online tournaments it was much needed I feel like if a game's trying to be competitive, they need to add a spectator mode. They need to add stuff, lobbies like this. Um, they also have a now a wireless connection indicator. I don't know. A lot of people have been mad about this. Um, I know everybody's living conditions are different. I know not everyone can be hardwired. I understand it sucks to be... Uh, I don't know the word, man. <laughs> I guess separated, gatekeep. I don't, whatever y'all want to call it, from for not being able to. Um, I guess some people just kick you out. <laughs> I'll just say this: my lobby will always be open to wireless players. I am wired though, and I do suggest you get a wired. If you can be wired, get the, spend the extra money on the cord. Steal one from work. Do whatever you got to do. Just get a little uh, land cord and hook it up. It makes all the difference, and trust me when I tell you, you will enjoy a lot of online games more. Even Smash Bros. is, is better with the wired connection. 
I know it doesn't come, I know the Switch doesn't come with the adapter, but buy a little adapter, it's $5. Trust me when I tell you. Um, with that though, I do plan to start doing some Gundam Fight Nights uh, eventually. And I'm also going to be in a tournament this Friday, I believe. So I'll probably be streaming that Friday. Uh, you know, my Twitch stream is always in the description. Definitely check it out. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, so some more gameplay. Spider Cat is a costume and an ally of, of Miles. Now, I don't know too much of Miles' um, story in, in the comics, so I don't know if the Spider Cat actually had... The Spider Cat is named Spider-Man, by the way, but I don't know if it's a character regular in the story or not, but it's pretty cool, and I did like the outfit. He's like wearing a hoodie and a backpack, and the cat's wearing a Spider-Man mask. If you haven't seen it, definitely gotta check it out. Um, I'm all for that funny, goofy stuff, and it, it looks pretty cool, man. Um, I kind of hope it is a callback to something that happens in the comics, but I literally don't know as much as I should about Miles. Um, Amnesia Rebirth launching October 20th. Oh, that's today or tonight. Dope. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys ever play Amnesia. Amnesia is one of those cool games that I used to like to watch. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of Twitch streamers hopped on it, uh, especially during this uh, during this month, Halloween. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out if you're interested. I don't know if it's a sequel. I'm pretty sure it's a sequel, not a remake. I'm not sure on that, but we'll definitely uh, <laughs> definitely check it out if you're interested. It's something I probably won't buy, but I definitely will like link me if you stream it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll I'll catch if I'm around. I'll catch it. I like watching it. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 announced three new characters, Rambo, Rain, the Ninja, and Melina. Um, pretty dope. People have been asking for Melina for a while. Rain is, uh, he's a ninja character, and I always love ninjas. Like, I don't own MK11 yet. I do plan on getting it when the uh, Ultimate Edition or whatever drops. Um, and Rambo... I don't know, I'm interested to see his moveset. Rambo seems a ra to be a random character, but hey, Terminator's in it, Spawn in it, like, I don't know. Somebody said on Twitter, like, Mortal Kombat 11's guest characters is like, Smash, except if his dad picked all the characters. And I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely, they dropped more gameplay on Rain. Did I say that already? I don't know if I said that already. But if I didn't, yeah, Rain looks really dope, and again, he's a ninja character, and um, I love me some ninjas, so definitely dope. GameStop, so GameStop is also getting a part, I don't know if you guys care about this, but I thought this was interesting. GameStop is getting part of the digital sales that Microsoft makes. So like, if GameStop, it, it looked like, when I clicked the link earlier, it said like if GameStop sells a digital console they will get part of those deals um i kind of thought that was crazy and i don't know why like is that the normal i'm not sure um definitely interesting though i'm always game size weird to me man because i remember when they made a big deal about they only make their most of their money comes from used sales and then I looked up that they actually do get money from new game sales. So I didn't understand. They always act like they're going under, but they've been sticking. And I, like, I don't not think they're not struggling. Like, I think they're struggling for sure. But I don't know. I, I, I don't like GameStop. <laughs> GameStop is more nostalgia for me. I, I don't, you guys tell me what y'all think. But I try to avoid GameStop if I can. Um, customer service is usually trash. Um, I'm a nerd and dealing with other nerds sometimes <laughs> is annoying because they think they know everything and like I know what I'm here just give me the game and shut up uh, I'm also antisocial so maybe that's me but I don't know most of the guys are always just seem cocky and like whatever but sometimes every once in a while you get some cool GameStop employees plus I hate trading games at GameStop so that was the best thing about GameStop and you don't get shit for it so I don't like GameStop man I just don't. I'll just think of that RDC video. Yo, you bring them all these games and like $35. Bro, I got two consoles, 20 games. What did you mean $35? I don't know. GameStop sucks. 
but they probably it's competition so it's probably good for all of us if they stay open maybe um <laughs> chrono is shutting down if you don't know what chrono is chrono is like uh another site where you get like so it's like green man gaming pretty much where i guess there's a lot of good deals on there for pc games um i have never been on chrono never heard of it but they're talking about coming back as nexus so pc players if you're worried hopefully they come back soon um again i don't know if a lot of people know about that because i've never heard of it until now um but definitely check it out or check it out when they come back i guess i think chrono is still open it's shutting down sometime this month but um nexus they, they plan on coming back so i don't know why the announcement if they're just shutting down just to come back more like a relaunch right i don't know maybe they're just just trying to get attention or maybe they got bought out who knows um assassin creed valhalla has gone gold now i'm probably not gonna grab this game um if you guys are excited for it dope i hope you guys have a good time it seems like assassin creed has kind of got its mojo back um feels like they were kind of falling off for a minute but it looks like they took a break and what was that one odyssey that just dropped people seem to love that one so but how kind of lit but i don't know i hope you guys enjoy it i'm not really <laughs> i'm not really for it uh gi joe operation block out launches block out blackout launches um that game kind of looked cool i was keeping an eye on it um i don't think the reviews have been great um i really don't care about reviews but i haven't seen anyone talking about it other than uh a select person and i keep my eye on it i was kind of hoping it'd be like another transformers uh war for cybertron or fall for, of cybertron game um and maybe i need to check out more gameplay videos but um i don't know we'll see <laughs> i'll definitely keep my eye on it but if you're interested in it it's out so check it out um my boy marvel shout out to marvel he linked me a lot of this stuff marvel she showed me this indie fighter game called serial killers and they just launched an indie go go campaign now it looked pretty cool and from what i gather they're trying to make like a marvel versus capcom type 2d fighting game um i do like a lot of the character designs and i'm interested to see how that goes uh definitely check it out um i think it'll be worth watching or yeah definitely i think it'll be worth watching to see where this game goes hopefully it goes all the way i think they're trying to work on getting a demo and yeah hopefully it keeps building up steam i heard i heard about it a little bit before and it seems to be getting more and more steam so hopefully it blows up to become something big how do y'all feel about indie games now i feel like indie games like i know the 70 dollar price tag next gen like i was expecting more people to like bash it but it seems like we kind of just accepted it um uh, which i think is kind of crazy because i feel like when it first came up people were kind of like no no way and i feel like if you're gonna drop a 70 game 70 dollar game next gen there's a lot of indie games out here that are dropping and they're kind of killing it man there's a lot of free to play games out here killing it i feel like genshin impact is better than marvel marvel was a 60 marvel avengers marvel was a 60 dollar game Genshin impact is free i haven't spent a dollar on that game yet and i've enjoyed it way more than marvel avengers and i'm a marvel fan i'm a huge marvel head um but i don't know 70 dollar games when these indies and free to play games are killing it right now i don't know i think a game's gonna have to be really good in order for people to pull off that 70 dollar price tag um but y'all tell me what y'all think man uh speaking of genshin impact speaking of genshin impact has some free gems they're handing out uh 30 primal gems i think i don't know how many wishes that are wish rolls um but definitely get the gems as free rolls so it's free money pretty much if you're playing uh i'll have that link in the description so you guys can get some of that and i think that is it for everything I got news wise, um, if you guys have anything that I missed y'all want to talk about, feel free to post that in the description. Uh, again, I'm going to try to do these every Monday. Try to keep them short, sweet, and uh, I'm sure depending on the gaming news, it'll be 
longer. We're about 15 minutes right now. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so you guys take it easy. I'm out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I bounce, um, just to keep y'all updated, I, if y'all don't know, um, I have started a Discord. Um, for the most part, it's right now, it's just for my, my gaming events and my, my fight nights. Uh, we've been doing a fight night every Friday, mostly for Damon X Machina. Uh, last Friday, we ended up turning it into a Smash, Smash Rose fight night, which was mad fun. Um, probably gonna start moving on to other games. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. November is gonna be stacked with some new games. I know mostly single player ones, but, um, we're probably gonna start doing new stuff. We're talking about doing Splatoon, and I'm also trying to do a a Halloween Scream stream. I just don't know what we're gonna play yet. I want to do something uh, multiplayer, co-op or not. Phasmophobia is kind of fun, so I'm thinking about doing that, or maybe uh, Dying Light or something like that. I haven't made up my mind yet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so Fight Nights every Friday. Definitely check out my Discord. Uh, fight night <laughs> I had that link in the description too um, and yeah just hit me up like I'm trying I'm, the games I've been playing lately is Ghost of Tsushima oh I didn't talk about that Ghost of Tsushima multiplayer drop that's just mad fun I've been playing that a lot um, definitely if you guys have the game it's a free update so definitely try that shit um, but yeah hit me up fight nights every Friday so I'm streaming every Friday um, feel free to join. I try to get many people as we can in. Um, and again, we'll probably start switching games up more. So, so we'll see uh, how it goes. And um, yeah, so I'm out. Oh, one more thing. I'm going this Friday. I'm actually going to be participating in a Gundam tournament. So with my boy GK. So. I probably won't be streaming Damon X Machina. I probably will stream the tournament um, until I get kicked out. And depending on what happens when I get kicked out, maybe I'll keep playing Gundam or we'll switch it up. We'll see. Um, but I definitely will be streaming this Friday. So definitely come through, check it out. Um, check out the uh, Fight Night Discord. And yeah, I'm out. Again, let me know what you guys think of this video and if I should do more, if I should get it more in depth. Again, this is just gonna be quick stuff, quick opinions. Um, definitely hit me with the comments uh, so we can definitely talk about it. Or just hit me up in the Discord, whatever. We out. <laughs> Pieces, for real this time. <laughs>